Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and this is a quick look at the latest build of Windows 10 which is build 18.317 released today January 16th 2019 and um, this is of course was released at around 1 p.m. Eastern typical Wednesday build um, they've been doing that quite a lot uh, recently so there's a few little things that are new in here of course but I wanted to test it out um, really well so I've been using it for the past four hours or so and um, seems to work well we got no issues no problems the install of course uh, the download I wasn't looking at the download or anything so I couldn't I can't say what happened exactly um, very busy day today that's why I didn't have uh, the uh, news bulletin today I didn't have time much for uh, anything today we'll be back to normal tomorrow with videos um, okay so the install itself uh, the download and all of that uh, the same kind of weird thing when you have the download coming through and it asks you you know does the install and then it says that it wants to restart you know the Windows update settings you have a restart now button and that restart now button don't, didn't work it gave me an error that said that it can't restart right now same as last time last time it did that also um, to do it I just went to the start menu and from the start menu I simply went to you know the button the power button and I clicked um, you know restart update and restart that's what happened and it worked with that so that's what I did okay um, itself the build has now search in Cortana separated for everybody it was still not separated for a lot of people um, you know Microsoft this does this a B testing which means some of us have features that others don't um, so now it's apparently everybody so now you've got of course your search that's here and you've got your Cortana that's here they are now separate buttons and um, are now of course um, really separated from each other something that a lot of people have been asking for a while now Cortana will be kind of on its own in the uh, future version of Windows 10 of course Cortana <clears throat> only supported still in some markets um, there's not been many new markets or at least new markets in a while for Cortana but uh, that's you know the thing the way that uh, Microsoft is working right now um, there's now a um, new improvement in the um, start reliability so what happens is that start in Windows 10 is uh, hosted by a process called shell shell experience host.exe so basically they are separating that into uh, its own processes there will be a process now called start menu experience host.exe that will be separate from the other rest of the, the, uh, the system itself uh, they are improving stability by that they're hoping that stability of the start menu and the start experience will be better so um, they're you know making a few changes uh, over there uh, also making a change so that the start no longer suspends which improves launch time a better font experience now in the settings for those that um, have been using settings you know that um, if you use fonts they've been adding fonts and the fonts setting in the settings for Windows 10 and of course that means that the fonts are something that you can tweak not just in the control panel because before they were actually a folder in Windows but the fonts within um, the settings um, have of course new ways of importing fonts to your PC at some point they want to remove the funds from the, um, the the control panel of Windows but look at that there's a new feature now you see here that's a little box drag and drop to install you've got a fund and you want to install it one of the biggest problems for most people is understanding what the hell do I do with a fund when I want to add it where do I put it how does it work so that I can actually have it well now it's going to be easy all you have to do is copy it on the right side you will see that your font appears and you can actually drag it in here so you can actually take 
from the file explorer if you want. You can have a file explorer show funds and you want to add, say you downloaded a few funds and they're in the download folder. You simply go to your download folder, click the font and simply drag it into that box here at the top. It will add that font automatically in your settings. So this is kind of interesting and I think it's going to make it easier for a lot of people to understand how this actually works. Also, they've um, changed the uh, page for the Windows Insider program settings. Uh, people were finding it was not necessarily the best uh, setting. It was kind of a little complicated to um, find or to have working correctly or understanding correctly how it works. So now they're uh, actually having an easier way to tell you what is what, slow ring, fast ring, and so on uh, in, the, in the settings page. So um, it's to make the experience a little easier for the Insider program for those that want to be there. They made some update to the Windows console. So uh, fixing a few bugs and a few little things that were happening with the Windows console and things that were happening in there. So uh, there's a few fixes and a few changes in the Windows console. And that's pretty much what it resumes here. Uh, one of the things I didn't notice because um, they were talking about the settings of the settings is changing. With a little setting at the top you see here, I have my Microsoft account info and I've got three icons here at the top that kind of are um, easy access to, you know, my different options within the settings. So this is something that they had changed. I didn't have it at first, now I do. So it kind of changes the layout. There's a little, you know, quick access to um, either your account management and the information of uh, your phone, Windows Update and Rewards uh, with little check marks that say that all of that is okay. Uh, within, at the top of the settings page, which wasn't there for me uh, in the previous few builds, and now it is. I don't know if it's there for everybody, but that is also a little change. Of course, lots of bug fixes, uh, for sure. And uh, one big issue that you might want if you use the Windows subsystem for Linux there could be a green screen or a blue screen uh, with certain Linux binaries. So um, just know that this actually uh, has a problem. And if your Windows Defender or your Windows Security app doesn't show the correct status as of protection, don't worry. They know there's a bug in it where it might actually show it's not correct. There are, of course, a lot of other little things that are uh, happening and uh, other little uh, features. There's also, um, you know, I was talking about some of the pro problems here with the uh, Action Center. Uh, well, there could be some problems there from time to time. So this is the latest build and um, it's pretty stable. I've had no problems. We're slowly going into the mainstream here as we're getting closer and closer uh, to the uh, release that will be in probably for us insiders in March. And um, in a couple of weeks, we'll have the uh, upcoming um, bug bash where we'll be able to uh, check out things. Don't forget to look at your feedback, feedback hub, not the feedback hub, <laughs> the feedback hub uh, where there's uh, some um, uh, quests. Even though we're not on a bug bash, there are still some quests you can do so why not participate in there and help out the team and of course uh, enjoy your build if uh, you know give us information about what you think of this build did you do you enjoy it do you have uh, problems installing any, any issues uh, let us know if you enjoy my videos please subscribe give us thumbs up thank you for watching